y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I am going to show you how I made this cute little coin purse, which is perfect for holding coins or other small treasures. I have a pattern that you can use to make this, and all the details on how to get that pattern are below. So check that out, and then I'll meet you at the camera to show you how to sew this up. Let's talk about the pattern and supplies. So if you've downloaded the pattern on my site, you need to go ahead and cut two pieces of fabric. They can be the same fabric, but you need one for the outer and one for the lining. If you would like your bag to have more body, you can also add fusible interfacing to one of these pieces of fabric. And then you're going to need a purse frame. And I have linked the exact ones that I bought, but if you buy a different one, let me show you something on the pattern here. So you want the seam line to match the outside edge of the frame. So if your frame is slightly different shaped than mine, then just redraw your pattern so that this part above the dots matches that outer edge of your frame. And then those dots, do make sure to transfer those to the insides or the wrong side of your fabric. So once you have your fabric cut and you have your markings transferred, you want to fold it right sides together and you're going to stitch from that dot marking down the edge using a quarter inch seam. You're going to do that on the outer and the lining fabric. And I am back stitching right at the dot there. The next step, once you have that stitching done, is you want to really press in this bottom edge fold here. And you can do that with finger pressing, you can do that with an iron, you can even use a stiletto like this one I have here, which I do have linked below, and you can use that to press that edge. So we just want to know, like we want a nice sharp line where that was. Then I am using the tips of my scissors to snip to the stitching line. And next, I want to fold and I want to match this stitching line with this pressed crease. So I'm opening the pouch out. This is why I snipped the bottom there so that I can open this seam allowance and match up that pressed crease there with the stitching line on the other side. And a pin can help you do that because you put it through the seam, through the stitching, and make sure it's coming out through the crease on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do this on all four corners, and then what I want to do is I want to mark half an inch from that point right there, half an inch down, I wanna mark a line across. So I'm going to use my ruler, and I want to Mark just half an inch across, just like that. And I will repeat that on every corner. So I'm just gonna sew straight across on my line. And then back stitch. The next step is to turn one of the pieces right side out. It doesn't really matter which one at this point that you're turning. And then you want to take the right side out piece and you want to place it inside the wrong side out piece. And we're going to be matching those top edges. So again, you want to be matching from the dot all the way around. Now, at the top of one side, we are going to want to leave a gap in that straight edge. So I'm gonna place two pins here to remind me to leave a gap there. And then this is easier to sew if you start at one dot, sew, leave the gap, sew to the next dot, cut your thread, and then start again after you shift the seam allowance over. I am hand cranking my needle down right into that dot and I am still sewing with a one quarter inch seam allowance. All right, now I'm going to turn the whole thing right side out through that gap that I left. 
And make sure you poke out the corners that you stitched. And then whichever side is supposed to be the outside, make sure it's outside and put the inside to the inside. And then on this top curved edge, make sure that you are pulling this all the way out. Now on this side with the gap, I do want to press the two raw edges in towards each other. And those are gonna get secured together when I stitch this to the frame. All right. You can press this with an iron as well if you'd like, but I'm gonna move the camera a little bit here so that you can see what I'm doing because the next part requires hand stitching. Okay, y'all, for this part, we are going to need a hand sewing needle, double your thread through it, and then knot the ends together. You're also going to need your purse frame, and then here's your purse. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open the purse frame, and I'm going to start at a corner, and I want to line the corner up with the corner of my frame. And I am going to take a stitch through just above the corner point there. And hope you can see down there through the hole in the frame. Okay, so that's aligning those together. And this is my edge that is open. So I'm going to make sure my raw ends are aligned. And then I'm matching that up kind of to the center and I'm using my stiletto to poke that in. And then just for a little added help here, security, I'm gonna use a piece of scotch tape to kind of hold those together temporarily. And that's just gonna be until I get more stitches sewn over here. So I'm gonna turn it over Poke my needle through, and on the inside, make sure it is going through the fabric. And then I'm basically just sewing a running stitch through the fabric and through these holes. And then I'll come back, so I'm kind of going every other hole. So see how the stitch went through this hole, and now I'm coming through that hole. I will come back the other direction once I get to the end. Pulling off that tape now that I've gotten to the center. And especially at this gap, I need to make sure that I am sewing through both layers of fabric. As you can see, the more stitching you get done, the easier it becomes. And I'm just going to continue my running stitch onto the other side here. So my last stitch came up through here. My next one is going to go down through here. Okay, and you can see there's the thread came from that side. All right, I'm going to knot my thread here and then I'm gonna get another piece to go around again. So you can see that that is stitched in all the way around the frame and on the outside it's in every other stitch so I'm just gonna re-thread my needle and come back through and do the opposite stitches, the holes that I missed this time. All right, y'all, once you are finished doing that stitching around the frame there, this is what your finished little coin purse looks like. Check out this playlist for more quick gift ideas like this little coin purse.